What's up, guys? So, everything happened the way we kind of thought it was going to, didn't it? Last Friday, the Pac-12 absolutely imploded. And it's down to four teams. Moved the Big 12 to 16 teams and the Big 10 to 18 teams. First conference to 18 teams. SEC also at 16 teams. And then you have the ACC who is at 14 teams. So, absolute shakeup in college football. There's no longer power, power five conferences. As of right now, it's power four conferences. And so, you know, we were dealing with all of that turmoil on the West Coast and what it means for Clemson and Florida State and uh, the rest of the teams left. And so, yeah, no news. There's been a few things here and there about the ACC trying to take Pac-12 teams. I think that came out last year, making some kind of alliance. You know, you had that big three alliance with ACC, Big 12, or excuse me, no, the ACC, Pac-12, and Big 10, I guess it was, against the SEC. I can't even remember who it was, but you've heard about that kind of stuff, but nothing really about the ACC expanding. Uh, as usual, the ACC is behind the eight ball. The only time it wasn't was when it added Virginia Tech, Miami, and BC back in 2004. Of course, Miami imploded themselves and has a done anything to add any value to the conference since so this is all this is definitely partly on Miami too but anyway getting back to it so dealing with all that all the talk about Clemson and Florida State leaving and then yesterday gets reported that the ACC is trying to add the undesirables Stanford and Cal that bring zero football money, viewership, you name it, great academic schools, that's it, and then SMU, who's apparently willing to not be paid by the ACC for years to have a chance to be in a power conference, mind-boggling stuff, that oil money. So we get all this news, and of course, you know, everybody's sitting here saying, well, what? Surely Clemson and Florida State aren't going to be okay with this because this does not void the grant of rights. It just adds those schools to the current grant of rights. There's not really going to be much, if any, money added. So, of course, Florida State and Clemson wouldn't be on board. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, then you hear today, about an hour ago, actually, I think Matt Connolly... Uh, reported at first from Tiger Illustrated that Notre Dame Notre Dame is a full voting member in the ACC. Thank you John Swafford for killing the conference as much as you could. Always, never passed up an opportunity to screw Clemson that one. And uh, for, uh, Notre Dame is pushing to add Stanford and Cal for whatever reason. I guess to booster their non-football sports and add them to the football schedule instead of Duke and uh, Wake Forest and such, mix it in there. So Notre Dame has a vote, which if there is any, uh, we don't know how everything's going to shake out. If there's any votes that you need, three-fourths votes or whatever, for so-and-so to happen with the Granite Rides or to get Clemson and Florida State out, well, Notre Dame now has a vote. And of course, Notre Dame doesn't have any interest in the conference falling apart because then they uh, would have to find another conference for their non-football sports who are nice and cozy in the ACC. So that just, man, that... Who knows what's going to happen with this? There's multiple sources saying that there are definitely teams that are not happy and that are hard-nosed. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, as far as we know and as far as anybody reporting knows that it has any knowledge... Clemson and Florida State are stuck in the ACC unless they want to pay at least $120 million on top of all the other lawsuits. And it's just feasibly not going to happen this year. I, I do not expect 
anything can happen at this point, but I do not expect any announcement between now and August 15th that Clemson and Florida State are leaving the ACC because it's just not feasible right now. It's not possible. We are stuck with whatever disastrous choices the ACC makes in the meantime. I, I still haven't heard anything updated on the revenue sharing in the ACC that's supposed to be getting the teams that actually make money like Clemson and Florida State a bigger share. I don't think it, it's been reported that it's not going to be enough to put a dent in what the SEC and Big Ten are making. And not that it means anything, but you got the SEC Commissioner Mr. Gregg over there stating that the uh, SEC has no intention to expand right now, which doesn't bode well for Clemson and Florida State. Again, that do doesn't mean anything, but it's just, man, years and years of bad decisions by all the athletic directors, refusal for other schools to put football first, ACC commissioner issues uh, have have royally screwed Clemson and Florida State, and I and it just boggles the mind that Clemson has not left before this and the multiple other choices, which goes back to Clemson's leadership. Clemson did found the ACC, so that definitely probably has something to do with it. But Clemson had chances to leave in 1992, 2012, or 2010 for all we know. And uh, potentially not signing this massive 20 year deal in 2016 chances to leave. And every single time Clemson's kicked itself in the rear and stayed in the ACC. Clemson doesn't owe the ACC anything. Clemson is the only original member that has done anything to contribute to the ACC football wise. It's the only original member with a national championship and it's got three of them. And it's the only original member that's been consistently putting football as a priority. None of the other ones have. You could say some that aren't in the ACC anymore have, but that, I mean, South Carolina was an original member and they have, but they've never won anything. So Clemson's the only thing team that has actually done its job. Florida State obviously has since they joined the ACC. Georgia Tech has at times since they joined the ACC in the 70s. Uh, but we don't owe the ACC anything. The ACC failed Clemson. Clemson didn't fail the ACC. So uh, obviously we're doing everything we possibly can to get out, but guys, uh, what else can you do other than pay million, hundreds of millions of dollars at this point? I mean, we, we made our grave. So now where do you, where do you look going forward? If uh, Stanford, Cal, and SMU join the conference, I'd assume another team would join to get us to 18, I would assume. I don't know who it would be. But then you've got, let's just hypothetically say, Clemson gets stuck in it. You know, three, four years from now, you're playing at Cal, at, uh, at Cal, Stanford, Wake Forest, Duke, and making $40 million a year while Vanderbilt and Missouri are playing and both making upwards of 80, 90 million dollars a year, which is obviously helping not only their football staff, but their other sports big time as well. Baseball, softball, basketball. Now Clemson has a lot of money with our boosters, but man, the ACC, they're, they will never, they were already hated by Clemson and Florida State. The disdain that those two schools have for the leadership and for this conference will never be overcome. There's there's absolutely nothing that the ACC can do. The ACC dug its own grave. And right now, I mean, Clemson and Florida State will leave at the earliest possibility, but the ACC dug its own grave. It will pay for it. It might not be in the next couple years, but the ACC will pay. There's no doubt they're going to lose Clemson and Florida State as soon as, as soon as it is feasible. Um, and it, it, I mean, it's just mind-boggling. It's very interesting watching this stuff unfold. It's very de depressing from a college football fan, but also as a Clemson fan, it's very depressing because as of now, we're on the outside looking in. Clemson and Florida State are the only two teams to. You could throw Miami in there, but. I mean, that, that was more the 
80s, but Clemson and Florida State are the only teams to win national championships the last 20 years. They're not in the SEC or Big Ten, or are going to be in the SEC or Big Ten. So we're just out on an island, and it sucks. We'll just we'll see what happens in the next coming weeks as far as the, the ACC. I do think there's going to be more moves next year. We'll see. But yeah, we'll see what happens.